Good afternoon. Um, my name is Jolie Kaufman. I'm a physician from Miami, Florida, and I'm actually here to talk about the Quantificare photo system that we use in our office for both patient evaluation and also for studies and study evaluation of study patient before and after photos. So today we're just gonna give a brief overview of the 3D LifeViz Mini, the 3D camera um, system for evaluating patients and what it is, why even use 3D, and how it works. Then we'll look at the skincare module, which is an additional module on the computer system that helps you evaluate patients, assess them, and then decide treatments and even skincare products for them. And then I'll show you some of our pictures that we've done just in the office with everyday patients and with study patients um, using the camera system. So for us in the office, the most important thing was to use a camera that was gonna be easy to use. So I do have some camera systems that are set up in separate rooms. And it became, on the clinical side, a little difficult to have patients go to the other end of the office and sit and, and get special photos that sometimes took about 20 minutes to do the full range of, of photos for them. So um, why use 3D? 3D allows for better assessments of skin, facial, concavities, and convexity. So you can really measure these things objectively, especially with something like pores that are very difficult to evaluate and fine lines and wrinkles. So you can objectively measure them, use the computer system, and then judge before and afters using that. It's also a great tool for clinical studies and even just in everyday clinical patients. Sometimes patients will receive a treatment over a period of time and they get better over a long period and it's difficult for them to see those improvements without really showing them in, in detail. So how does um, this camera system work? The Quantificare 3D um, camera system, you take three pictures of your subject with the camera system, and I'll show you a picture of it. It's small, so it's one, two, three, very quick. Three seconds can be taken in any room. The software automatically reconstructs them into a 3D image. And then you can conduct a full skincare analysis and skin analysis using it and discuss treatment plan or if you're doing studies, take very good before and afters or even great before and afters for lectures. So this is actually my um, research coordinator and that's the camera system. So it's easy, it fits in your hand. It's, you take three um, at different angles and it lines everything up for you. Then this is the image you receive and the computer system reconstructs it for you into a 3D image. And I'll show you some of those images. But very, very easy. Honestly, the whole process might be three to five seconds with the, with the camera. So it'll generate a customer-specific skin report, and depending on what you're doing, obviously if we're doing a study, we just use the pictures as is, but you can put them into the system and um, come up with a report of how well a patient's doing. As far as fine lines and wrinkles, so you can see on the left side the wrinkle score, and it'll tell you an evenness score, then also for pigmentation, for pores, and also for erythema on the bottom. So a lot of times, we know when we look with a regular camera system, sometimes it's very hard to evaluate, especially pigment and erythema. And of course, the depth of wrinkles is almost impossible in a 2D image. So you can personalize this treatment. Um, you can add a scoring option, which will give a patient a score related to other patients their age and tell them where they are. I think this is always the most shocking thing for patients when they look and say, oh my God, my right side of my face is doing terrible while the left side of my face is doing okay. But it really gives them something to gauge as far as what you want to do with treatments. And of course, in studies, it's really invaluable. It's just so here's a 3D image um, mapping out fine lines and wrinkles, so this is a forehead, and then also pores, and you can do before and after with the same imaging and show the decrease in pore size and in fine lines and wrinkles after treatments. So the skincare module is an extra module on the system, so after you take your pictures, um, you can go in and grade the patient like we were talking about, and you can score them from left, front, right, and also the 3D scores. And then you can show the patient, and then in addition, you can also make recommendations for the patient per area as far as treatments that you'd like to do, fillers, lasers, what areas you want to focus on. And then also you can 
um, recommends skincare in this module. So you can plug in whatever skincare you use for patients who have a lot of photo damage, mild photo damage, and it'll pull that up for you. So the scores are calculated based on the reference population, same gender and Fitzpatrick type. And so they'll scale these patients relative to other skin types that are similar to them. So it's very useful in, in clinical practice. So here's an example of a brown spot analysis, same idea, um, showing, and it'll outline where the brown spots are that you're trying to remove, which makes laser success even more successful when you can demonstrate to the patient the loss of those spots. Here's a 3D view of the brown areas, and I'm going to show you some of the before and afters that we've done with just regular patients in our clinic. So here's the example of skincare. So you can program in your skincare, and then when the patient gets their score, they'll get a printout saying, we want you to, in the morning to use the Provage Serum. Then after that, you're going to use the Superstart Skin Renewal. So not only is it good for treatment recommendations, but also for skincare recommendation and sales in office. And we do have an esthetician that does that. I don't do that part of it. So here's just one 3D image that we took of a patient. And I think, you know, for patients to be able to look at themselves, even when I did my own, it was kind of shocking because you see a lot of things that you would never see when you look at yourself in the mirror. You never get to see yourself from the side. Of course, rotating helps. But to show patients where you would want to volumize them, I think now that the um, cheek volumization has become just standard in, in the industry, it is easier to explain to a patient where you see that deflation using these kind of photos. So not only for laser, but really injectable are important. And honestly, before she took those pictures, she was saying, oh, my lips, I actually like my lips. And then when she saw these pictures, she was saying, oh, I really see how I'm very wrinkled in the upper lip area. Okay. So again, you can do the 3D and show patients a 3D rotating image of their pigmentation. And then they say, oh my God, I definitely, I have a lot of photo damage. I really want to do that laser procedure. And, and showing, you know, the sides of the face where a lot of people don't get to appreciate, where we usually see the most pigmentation. So here's a before and after of a patient. Um, we know how stubborn, diffuse erythema can be for patients. And this was one treatment, and she said maybe she thought she was better, but it was much easier showing her objectively on the 3D camera how it was breaking up a lot of the very, very dense erythema. And you can see the color, especially on the right cheek that's broken up. And then the patients feel better that they're at least getting somewhere, especially when you're doing treatments that may take multiple sessions. So here's a before and after of pigmentation. And especially on the forehead, you can see where they're very, very dark. This was one treatment with laser um, where you're breaking up the pigmentation. And while she still has a little bit of fine pigmentation, you really dramatically see it when you highlight it with the 3D camera visualization. So here's before and after in um, real life on the 3D. Again, before and after laser procedures on the face. And I think, honestly, showing patients these pictures not only makes them realize that you're the most up-to-date because you have the most up-to-date technology, but also they really can see areas where they've improved that they might not have been able to see. So here's another one for fine lines and wrinkles. And you can see before, even on the forehead, the fine lines... Um, and afterwards, and you know, when patients see these kind of pictures, which honestly take three seconds to pull up for them, they really are impressed with their treatments. So 3D imaging in our practice really has provided a way to better assess the patient from the very beginning. It takes about three seconds to take the pictures with the small camera. It aids in designing an optimal treatment plan, and it also really provides an objective measure for patients to evaluate their treatment success. Also great for presentations of before and afters, and again, we use ours a lot in clinical studies. Thank you very much.